Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. There is La Rosa, my 2021 Royal Enfield Himalayan. When I bought it, they told me it was a 2020, but my title says it's a 21, so whatever. Uh, I've got a lot of questions about these soft bags. I know the bike's dirty. My bike's always dirty because I ride it a lot. And these racks that I have them mounted to. Uh, the bags themselves I got off Amazon for, I think I paid $38 or $48 for these. I've got the same bags on my Harley. And uh, they're not an expensive bag. Hey, there's my tire pressures for this bike. But you know, they got these little folding things. I keep gloves and rags and a couple tools. And in the summer, I, have, I bought this bike in October, so I haven't really had to ride it in the summer yet, but I'll keep bottled water and stuff like that in there. They're easy to put on. I use these uh, Velcro things to put them in. Works pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted soft bags on this bike was at some point I'm going to drop it. Amazingly, in 8,000 miles, I haven't dropped it yet. But at some point, you know, I'm going to come over a hill and there's going to be a bunch of mud and I'm going to put it on its side and these will, you know, collapse. But uh, anyway, so uh, that's the bags. The mounts themselves, I got those at Baxter Cycle. They're, uh, they're about $100, maybe more. But they, uh, they're just these, let's see if I can give you a look at that. They're these frames, that's dirt. And the frames, you, you, you remove these bolts from the bike, put in the little spacers, Put the you know put this up there put the bolts back in right with loctite and then once you do that you install this little bracket here from above the pegs and that takes care of that here's another look of it well on this side it's uh up here to the same amount where the exhaust is it works pretty good and they're very secure i i have never had any trouble with them um, if I want to put bigger bags on, I can just pop these off and get, you know, the big layover bags and that'll, that'll support them. I've also thought about getting uh, hard bags and if you got smaller hard bags, you could actually mount them to this frame without a problem. And uh, of course, here's my net and I, that's what I use for jackets and things like that. Uh, other things to talk about, this windshield, I've had this about 2,000 miles now and uh, it works great. I love it. I'm very happy with it. It does take a couple miles off the top speed. You do use a little more gas, especially when you're heading into the wind. Um, there's a flag over yonder. You can see we got a little bit of wind today. Going into the wind, my top speed was a little, you know, I used a little more gas to keep, keep the same amount of speed. And my fuel mileage has gone down a, a mile or two. But I'm very happy with it. I got that uh, at Baxter Cycle also, by the way. Another thing you should always get on a Himalayan is these, uh, this thing is a, uh, kickstand foot big foot and it's uh three and a half by two and three quarter wide i'm on a gravel road i just pop that thing down i never worry about the bike falling over so far so good it's a very good product anyway that's the short of it soft bags i love them they're great for carrying small things great for day rides the little frames that they go on work excellent like I said, I got the frames from Baxter. I got the windshield. The windshield works great. Uh, it shakes a little bit and, uh, you know, like a semi goes by or something like that, but it uh, works very well. You know, I'd like to see one a couple inches shorter because when I ride the bike, I look over this. I'm five foot nine, but I do look over it. But uh, I'd like to see one just a little bit shorter because I think the air bubble is very large. And a little bit shorter helmet or a little bit shorter windshield would probably work just as well as this one does. Uh, although I suspect this will work better in the rain. Uh, other things you should get if you get a Himalayan. Automatically get the risers for the fenders to give you a little more clearance here. And get this uh, headlight cover. Hey, that's my two cents on what you should get if you buy a Himalayan. Yahoo! Get out there and ride, y'all. Life's too short. Wahoo!